Hey guys, this is Kill Lancer here. Welcome to another Kill Lancer Gaming. Don't forget the bell button, the subscribe button to get the notifications to my channel, guys. All right, we're gonna dive right into this video. Um, yes, guys, we're back with Star Links here. Um, my uh, first uh, Toys to Life game, and I'm gonna name this series uh, Weapon Combos. Okay, I was supposed to been do this video, but um, I had a lot of other games that I was trying to play and trying to get done uh, for you, the viewers, but. Um, I decided to come up with this uh, particular video uh, for those who want to know what type of weapons that I use and weapon in, weapons in good situations. But these are all my opinions and uh, my uses of weapons that I use in certain situations. And I just want to show you guys uh, what weapons that I use. So this is the weapon combo uh, for uh, planets. So I'm going to show you a various of type of weapons that you can use. And I'm going to make other videos with other weapons that I use too. Okay. So right now we're going to use Mason Ship, and we're going to use the Nullifier, and we're going to use the Vulcan, okay? Let's get into this, okay. Alright, so first what we're going to do is we're going to use the Vul the, um, the, uh, the Nullifier, okay? Keeps the, keeps the enemy in place with gravity, and then use the Gatling Gun to finish them off. Takes a little bit of time to finish them off. This thing can actually work on... Uh, single targets and also it can work on at least like a group of three enemies okay we're gonna go up here Shoot these missiles off right here all right look allows us to do a flame barrage right here trying to keep the enemy in place a bit but the thing is guys it'll have like a, a drawback to it with the cooldown time of the Vulcans, not so much of the um, of the missiles. I'm also use this, like I said before, for like single targets, and I also use it for, like I said, a groups of groups of three. The capabilities of this uh, combo is, is pretty amazing, especially when you're just starting off. This is my bread and butter right here. This is what I first started to use when I first played the game, guys. Now, does it really matter what uh, ship that? that you use it for no not necessarily it doesn't matter the ship that you use it for you can use it for any ship in any uh, um, particular situation depending on the situation guys uh, personally I like this setup is because I get to hold my enemies in place and I get to slowly chip away at their health especially if it's just one opponent or if I'm fighting like a boss type of enemy it allows me to hold them in place and I could use several of the different uh, barrages of missiles on them uh, uh, setting up uh, many different combo patches uh, of, uh, of flame gravitation guys which slowly chips away at their health uh, I think that's very useful when you're first starting the game because you want to do a lot of damage as uh, possible um, to your enemies over time personally that's what I think this time guys we're going to use chase now like I said before it really doesn't matter um, the type of weaponry uh, for these particular characters guys I'm just I just like switching up my characters but anyway this time I'm going to use the frost barrage uh, missiles and we're going to use the fury cannon guys okay let's give it a go alright I'm going to freeze these babies alright now compared to the Vulcan the cannons of uh, uh, recharge recharge time is a lot longer but the thing is, like, you're doing more devastating damage. But like I said before, guys, you want to do as much damage as possible. So I would personally use uh, the Vulcan over the cannon. But this is my other bread and butter, guys, when I'm fighting more devastating uh, uh, loads of enemies. Okay? See, I use the missiles to freeze the enemies. I use them to freeze the enemies, so it allows me to get to other targets. You see how I hit several different targets, and they're still held in place? Look at that, guys. And then I use the cannon to uh, do massive damage while they're in place. Because the cannon is a bit slower than the Vulcan, but it does massive damage uh, to the enemy. Which I find really, really, really cool, guys. In my opinion, this is one of um, the second setups that I enjoy using. See, look at that. The enemy is slowly walking away. Slowly walking away because it's trying to get out of the ice. Which I think is really, really nice, guys. Um, like I said, uh, personally, these are my... Uh, um, weapons that I use guys uh, you can use any style you want but um, I personally like using that using uh, using that uh, play style when I'm playing the game uh, for newcomers 
I think uh, this would be uh, your second setup as you get the handle of using um, the the, uh, the nullifier and the Vulcans. The, those two are the easiest weapons to use. Uh, the missiles, the uh, the frost missiles are a little bit um, uh, um, harder to use. They're a little bit sl more sluggisher compared to the gravity nullifier missiles. And I think the uh, fire cannon is a little bit more uh, sluggish. But they do massive damage. Massive, massive damage. But like I said before, um, when it comes down to the load time of these weapons, like uh, the, uh, the, heat, the heat going down for the weapons to be in use, uh, these would be the slowest, guys. But like I said, massive damage can be done. Um, like I said before, it doesn't matter the type of ship that you use these for. Um, it really doesn't matter. You can just jump on and just use them. All right, guys. Now we're gonna try another combo with the Frost Barrage and the Vulcan, guys. All right, let's do it. Okay, this is my other bread and butter by mixing the other weapons. You can do thermal shot, guys. See, that does a lot more uh, damage just because it's an elemental combo. And elemental combos are very, very important in this game. But also watching your gauge as well, guys, so you won't overheat your missiles. Try to keep that in mind. Look at that. Bam. Okay. We're going to try something else. We're going to go over here so we can show you some more things. Look at that. There you go. Thermal shot. Want to go? You want to be? You want to be? Uh, uh, bob, uh, side to side, guys. The dodge enemy attacks. Also, remember, see that little circle gauge right there? You want to watch that at all times. That's your cool nail time, guys. To your weapons. Watch it, bob and weave. Bob and weave. There you go. Bam! Look at that. There you go. Well, guys. These were a mixture between the weapons that I showed you. And um, this is another setup that I use from time to time. You can uh, intermix anything uh, in this uh, combo video that I'm showing you guys. But uh, anyway, that about does it. Uh, I'm going to be doing more uh, combo videos uh, as time goes by, guys. I want to show you guys uh, the weapons being used on the planet. Now, space is a totally, totally, totally different story, guys. There's got to, there, there's like specific weapons that you have to use in space. Not all weapons are usable in space, personally to me. How I play the game and stuff like that. You might have a totally different experience uh, for me when it comes down to um, fighting in space, guys. But um, I'm going to do a space series, like I said before. Stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to do all the, Earth's, the uh, Earth series first of the weapon combos. But um, don't forget the bell button and the subscribe button to get the notifications to my channel. Don't forget to check out uh, my Dust Diver video. And don't forget to check out my uh, No More Heroes uh, Let's Play series, guys. I got more videos with that. This is Keel Lancer, and we got more.